What's up everyone, we're back bringing you more Revit tips and tricks to improve your workflow, and today we'll be discussing extrusions and sweeps. Revit offers a variety of powerful tools and techniques to create 3D models, and two of the most commonly used modeling functions are extrusion and sweep. In this video, we will explore the differences between these techniques and when to use each one. Extrusion is a simple technique used to create 3D objects by pushing a 2D shape through space. Extrusions are often used to create basic shapes like cylinders or rectangles, but it can also be used to create more complex shapes. To create an extrusion, have your reference plane set up for whatever shape you want to extrude, and just have a start and end reference plane. For this example, I'm going to extrude a simple cube. Starting in the left view, I'll select Extrusion from the Revit ribbon, set my reference plane as left, then I'll draw my shape using the Pick Line tool, locking each line to a reference plane. After trimming off the excess, click the green check mark to finish the sketch. Finally, lock the start and end of the extrusion to their respective reference planes, and that's it. One of the benefits of extrusions is that it's easy to use and can quickly create simple shapes, like this rectangular prism. Extrusions are also parametric, which means that you can modify the dimensions of the shape and it will update automatically. However, extrusions have limitations when it comes to creating more complex shapes, especially those with curves or irregular shapes because every facet of the extrusion has to be locked to a reference plane to remain parametric. Stay tuned for an in-depth video about locking geometry to reference planes by subscribing to this channel and clicking the bell icon. Sweep is a more advanced technique used to create 3D objects by sweeping a closed 2D shape along a path curve. Sweeps offer more flexibility than extrusions and can create more complex shapes. With sweeps, you can use custom 3D paths and parametric profile families to maximize your modeling potential. The custom 3D paths allow you to create the exact shape you need for your project. By manipulating the path curve, you can create curves, angles, and irregular shapes that extrusions can't achieve. To create a sweep, set up your reference planes for the path of the sweep, and click Sweep in the Revit ribbon. Click Sketch Path and draw your path sketch. I'm going to draw a rectangular path around the perimeter of this family. After confirming your path, the next window is all about the profile. You can sketch a profile in place using the reference planes the path provided, but the real power of sweeps comes from the profile family. Profile families are a two-dimensional closed loop shape that you can load into a sweep. Simply load in the profile and select it from the drop-down menu. If you've been careful about the origin of your profile and sweep path, you shouldn't need to move the profile at all. But if you do, you can use the X and Y and rotation inputs to position the profile appropriately. Profile families can be parametrically controlled and linked in higher level families using type parameters. I'm going to link this sweep's height parameter to the tabletop thickness parameter. The profile offset inputs can also be parametrically controlled. Additionally, parametric profile families allow you to create a library of custom profiles that can be used across multiple projects. This saves time and energy when working on new projects and ensures that your modeling is consistently high quality. Imagine a profile library of steel sections that are easily controlled with simple to use parameters instead of having to search through the enormous steel catalog. But like any tool, sweeps have their pros and cons. While they offer more flexibility and power than extrusion, they can also be more complex to create and manage. Profiles are also technically nested families and can bloat the file size of family if you're not careful. It's important to weigh the benefits and drawbacks of each technique before choosing the right one for your project. So which technique should you use? If you need to create simple shapes like a cylinder or a rectangle, extrusion is the way to go. Extrusions are quick, easy to use, and easy to make basic shapes. However, a sweep may be the better choice if you need to create a more complex shape with curves or regular angles. Sweeps have more flexibility and power than extrusion and can easily create more complex parametric shapes. So that's it for this video. Did you learn something new? Let us know what you liked best about this video in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Revit tips and tricks. Until next time.